Hello friends. Today we are going to understand how do we form a concept. To understand this, let us learn Frere model. Every concept has got four components: definition, characteristics, examples, and non-examples. It is those examples and non-examples which help us to understand the characteristics. and with the help of the characteristics we can define the concept let us start one by one a frere model is a graphic device used to develop a deeper understanding of a word or a concept let us take an example of xerophytes xerophyte is a concept all plants which grow in desert as we know Are called xerophytes. Now, how do we form this concept, or how, in fact, we help our students to understand the concept of xerophytes? Before we go into the details of Frere model, let us understand when it is used. It is used to go beyond the definition to develop deeper understanding of concepts, take notes when reading for information. and generate details for a definition or analysis essay usually when a teacher teaches in the class the teacher dictates the definition the teacher tells the characteristics of those concepts that we are understanding teacher explains the examples here the model is more teacher centric frere model is an inductive model which help the learner to find out the characteristics and to develop the definition now how do i make one for understanding frere model we have four components okay first one draw a large square divided into four squares label each square as examples non examples characteristics and the last one is the definition in the center we have the concept written add an oval to the center of the square write the concept you are exploring in the circle here in this example zero fights is the concept that we are exploring so we will write the concept zero fights in the center then we will give the examples of xerophytes for example acacia opuntia agave for that matter we can show them pictures of all these plants we will also show them the non examples like apple banana ficus lotus these are the non examples we will allow the students to ponder and find out what is common among all the examples how these examples are different than non examples for example what is common between acacia and opuntia or agave and opuntia and how are acacia opuntia different than ficus or banana students then will generate some characteristics these characteristics are enlisted in the third quadrant like they are succulent in nature they store water the leaves are succulent the thick the roots are also succulent they thick some students may tell that they are having spines all these characteristics are enlisted in the third quadrant now the next step is putting those characteristics together and defining what is a xerophyte so xerophyte any plant adapted to life in a dry or physiologically dry habitat that is salt marsh saline soil acid bog by means of mechanisms to prevent loss of water and store water available in them such plants are called xerophytes here by showing examples and non examples to the students they are allowed to form some characteristics they are allowed to come up with the characteristics and putting those characteristics together they define the term xerophytes 
In this way, the understanding of the concept zero five will be more long lasting. It will be helpful for the student to remember it, understand it for a longer time, longer period of time. It will not only help the student to learn the concept of zero fights, but it will also help this process that is Frere model will also help the student to form any other such concept. Thank you.